And there is Larissa Pacheco. Told us she's in much better shape this year. You saw it in that piece, how much weight training she's been doing. She feels strong. And she doesn't want to be known as the woman who pushed Kayla Harrison. She wants to be known as the woman who beat Kayla Harrison, took home a belt, and obviously a $1 million prize. It's a tough task. Is she up to it, Ken? Well, I think she is. I mean, you can see it. There's a huge difference in her physique as you saw her on the scale. You can see it right there. She's in way better shape. And, you know, when we asked her, I said, hey, listen, what would this $1 million prize do for you? She said, I'm not even focused on that. My focus is being the best women's fighter in the 155-pound division. That's what I'm focused on. She comes into the cage with a lot of experience, Randy. Her opponent, not nearly as much. But undefeated, Yulia Pajic can really prove something tonight if she can get over on the recent Pacheco. She's got one first round knockout, two submissions, so she definitely has some skills both in the standing and on the ground. Six foot tall, that's going to be a tough one to get through as well. Hopefully she uses that jab, keeps Pacheco off of her, and manages to find a way to win. With that, we take a look at the tail of the tape presented by the Marine Corps. As Randy mentioned, Pajic out of Montenegro, six feet tall. Pacheco comes in at five foot six, but pretty close in the reach. At least the arms, the uh, distinct leg reach advantage goes to the much taller Yulia Pajic. Lillian Garcia starts these women off. And now we head back to the PFL Smart Cage for the women's lightweight division. This bout is presented by the Marine Corps. Introducing to you first, Fighting out of the blue corner, she is a striker. Standing at six feet tall, she officially weighs in at 155 and three quarter pounds. She makes her PFL debut with an undefeated record of 3-0. Fighting out of Frankfurt, Germany, and representing Montenegro, here is Yulia Poyez! Her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, she is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 5'6", she officially weighs in at 155 and 1 quarter pounds. In 17 professional bouts, she has a record of 13 victories and 4 defeats. And was your 2019 PFL Women's Lightweight Runner-Up, fighting out of Manitoba, Brazil, here is Larissa Pacheco! Your referee in charge, Gaspar Oliver. Gaspar Oliver oversees the action. Three five-minute rounds of professional women's lightweight professional fighters league regular season points Fight. on the line. Touch of the gloves. Pajic in the back. Gets a big left hook from Larissa Pacheco, who goes right to work, landing in the mount. Pounding away immediately. It looks like Pajic has recovered somewhat. Right hands raining down. The recent Pacheco looking to make quick work of Julia Pajic. That was a brutal left hook that started it all. She's in the mount, one of the most powerful positions in grappling, and she's looking to finish what she started. No feeling out process at all. Center of the cage, touching the gloves, and rips a left hand. Pacheco heavy on top. Pajic is going to be stuck under here for potentially a full four minutes. Gaspar Oliver, the corner throws in the towel, it's over! Yulia Pajic dispatched, Larissa Pacheco, quick six, and back on track. Unbelievable performance from Larissa Pacheco. Nice, quick, one, two, three combination, that hook dropped her, landed sharp. Followed it right to the mount position. Very, very dominant performance. That's a heck of a welcome to the PFL right there. And Larissa Pacheco still bouncing around. She wants more, she's not done. Inside of one minute, she gets a six point finish. Kenny, here it is in full speed. Oh my goodness, that left hook. Just absolute brutality here, and Pacheco just never took her foot off the pedal. Shot after shot, a bunch of right hands, which forced a serious dilemma for 
Paya. She either turned her back, give up, give up the choke, or just continually eat, sh eat, eat shots. And Pacheco, just relentless, big power there in that left hook. And those left hooks are tricky. They leave the eye line. You don't see them. And that really surprised Pajic. Credit to Pacheco. Even after the big knockdown, she makes sure she secures top position in the mount first, stays heavy, doesn't give any breathing room to Yulia Pajic. The experience showed there. A quick six for Larissa Pacheco. Take a look at the Cajunomics stats bundle presented by our friends at GEICO. Big left hook and then a bunch of strikes on the ground for Yulia Pajic. She'll have to go back to the drawing board. Didn't get a chance to do much in her debut. Now six points put Larissa Pacheco there for now. No question about it. I think Pacheco saw an opportunity here to go out there, get a quick finish. She did exactly that, landed a beautiful combination on the feet, finished the job on the ground, and uh, that's the way to start it. And we're seeing that strength and conditioning pay off. Larissa Pacheco will make this one official. Excuse me, Lillian Garcia will make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at 51 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO and earning six points in the women's lightweight division, Laura